everyone, and welcome back to the MFT YouTube channel. It's Carolyn here, and I thought I'd share a fun and easy way to use the new Circle Treat Pouches in a way that doesn't destroy your whole card when trying to reach the goodies inside the treat cup. There's nothing more annoying than putting all that work into a project, only to destroy it by getting to the goodies inside, right? So I figured out a super easy slider technique to get to the goodies and save your project. Bonus! I made the flower card earlier this month using the new cross-stitch flower dynamics, so I thought I'd try the same slider technique with the baby rattle dynamics. I also used the Hello Little One stamp set, the interactive label stamp set, the shaker flower dynamics, the slanted sentiment strips dynamics, the file folder edges dynamics, and the A2 stitched rectangle stacks set one dynamics. I also used some cotton candy smooth white cardstock, as well as the party pattern 6x6 paper pack. Lastly, I used the new circle treat pouches and some M&Ms that coordinate with my project. I love that I can coordinate the candy with my project. Thanks, M&Ms. Off camera, I deck cut the cross stitch flower in baby rattle dynamics from some smooth white cardstock. I also adhered the polka dot paper to a smooth white panel for stability and then die cut it using the A2 stitched rectangle stacks set one dynamics. I'm positioning the baby rattle onto the polka dot panel and I'll use the circle die from the shaker flower dynamics to die cut the aperture for the rattle. Once that's done, I can position the polka dot panel onto the front of the smooth white card base and use that same die again to die cut another aperture in exactly the same spot. This is a great way to make sure that both apertures line up perfectly. And don't forget to open up your card base before running it through your die cutting machine. Here I'm adhering the baby rattle to the cross stitch flower die cut with some thin 3D foam squares. I thought the details of the cross stitch flower die cut were a sweet addition to the baby rattle and a unique way to use the cross stitch die without stitching. Now I'm adhering the assembled baby rattle to the polka dot panel with more thin 3D foam squares making sure to align the aperture of the baby rattle with the opening on the panel. I'm using my tape runner to apply some adhesive to the back of the polka dot panel around the outside edge of the aperture, and then I'll slide the circle treat pouch into place. With a little bit of pressure, it should be good and secure. To create our slider tab, I've trimmed a four inch by two and a quarter inch panel from smooth white cardstock, and I'm using the center tab die from the file folder edges dynamics to create our pull tab. I'm stamping the word pull from the interactive label stamp set onto the pull tab using Versamark ink. And then I'm heat embossing it with some pink embossing powder that I had in my stash. While I have my mini Misty out, I'll stamp the sentiment from the Hello Little One stamp set onto some cotton candy cardstock using sweet tooth pigment ink. And then I'll heat emboss it with some white embossing powder. Off camera, I'll die cut the sentiment using the slanted sentiment strips dynamics. Next, I want to create a channel for the slider tab, so I'm positioning it onto the back of the polka dot panel so that it completely covers the aperture. And then I'll mark its position with a few pencil marks. Then I'll use some quarter inch foam tape at the top and bottom to create the channel. I'll use a bit more foam tape on the right edge to create a stopper for the slider tab. This channel will keep the slider tab in place and keep the goodies from falling out until you want them to. Now it's time to assemble the card. I've added some foam squares to the back of the polka dot panel and I'll adhere to the card base, making sure to align the apertures. Notice that I didn't remove the release paper from the upper foam tape. This will allow me to position the panel onto the card base with a little bit of wiggle room. Once I have it where I want it, I can remove that second strip of release paper to completely secure it down. And now you can see that the slider tab slides perfectly into and out of that channel that we created and allows me perfect access to add my sweet treats to the treat pouch and remove them when I'm ready. To add some fun detail, I'm tying some baker's twine into a bow around the handle of the baby rattle. And then I'll add my sentiment strip to the bottom left with some thin 3D foam squares. And that's it. You can see that the slider tab is hidden on the inside of the card, but when you pull on it, the treats fall out. You could change this up a bit using neutral colors and make it a fun gender reveal idea. You could add it's a girl or it's a boy to the slider tab, revealing the gender as you pull it out. Thanks so much for watching my video today. Be sure and check out the other videos on the MFT YouTube channel for more great content. Until next time, have a fabulous day.